So for this problem, it says rank by rate of SN2, fastest is 1, slowest is 5. So we have these five compounds. Um, so try this out on your own, and then I'll explain it. Okay, so the first thing you do is just list out everything you know about SN2. So SN2 is a bimolecular reaction. Ray depends on both the nucleophile and electrophile. Uh, it, at, at the site of attack, its resonance is preferred, then 1 prime, 2 prime, and 3 prime. And leaving group ability increases as you go down a group. So you have CL, BR, and I. So leaving group ability goes down as you go down the group. So I would be the best leaving group. Um, so let's look at the answers, right? So here are the answers to the question. 5, 1, 3, 4, 2. Okay, so let's analyze why this is. So for example, this one, right? Why is this one? Well, let's look at it. So I'll try to fit everything on one page. Oops. Okay. So one prime, right? One prime is preferred, right? Res because none of these have resonance. So the first thing we look at is one prime. Which ones have one prime? Or primary carbons, right? So this one has a primary carbon, right? Because it's only attached to a bromine and attached to one carbon. And this one is also a primary carbon, but we'll look at why that's fifth. And then over here, this is a secondary carbon, right? This is secondary carbon. Over here, once again, secondary carbon because it's attached to two carbons. Over here, primary carbon. Okay, so since this is a primary carbon, and we also and this is also this is a primary carbon, and this is a primary carbon. These two are secondary. We'll look at why um, the difference between this and this is this and this is one and two, right? Because primary is preferred. Now the only thing we have left to judge is leaving group, right? Br and Cl are different. So let's look at the leaving group trend. Well, leaving group ability goes down. I mean, increases as you go down. So Br is a better leaving group than Cl. That means that if it's better, it will react faster. Therefore, since this is a one prime, a primary carbon, right? And it has a really good leaving group. This will be number one. Since this is the only other primary, this will be two. Now, this is a primary, right? But it's an exception to the rule. When you have a primary next to a quaternary, right? It will actually be incredibly slow because of the sterics, right? Too many carbons and hydrogens, right? So this is an exception to the rule where if it's primary and next to a quaternary carbon, right? This middle carbon is attached to uh, four carbons, actually. So uh, that's an exception to the rule where if you have a quaternary next to the primary, it will be incredibly slow reaction. Now between these two, right? These two are exactly the same. So this is secondary, this is secondary. Once again, the only difference is between the leaving group. This is bromine, this is chlorine. So bromine will be better than chlorine, so this will be three, this will be four. So that's why the order is one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then I've written down um, what I just said right here. So the first thing you you want to look at is the carbon attached. Look at if it's primary or secondary, and then look at the, how strong is the leaving group. And this is the exception to the rule. Look at adjacent carbons. Even if it's a primary carbon, if but if the adjacent carbon is a quaternary, it will be really slow. So I hope that helped and thanks for watching.